So look, y'all, in today's video, we will be talking about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC for maps. Now, we already know that Bardock is the next DLC. I'm excited. I'm happy. We about to go crazy, all right? Now, look, man, we already know how Kakarot get down with their maps, but they use the exact same maps every single DLC and every single time. Like, they only added one new map, and that was Beerus Planet. Now, they would not be able to do the exact same thing for this DLC because, first of all, None of them maps equal up to Bardock. You can't use none of them maps for Bardock. So Bardock, they're going to have to create a whole new scenery. And we should be able to get four new areas, my God. Four new areas. So look, today's video, we're about to break that down. So um, go ahead and follow me. All right, y'all. So the first map we got on the list is this unknown planet or unknown area. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I do not know what this place is called. But this is the area that Dodoria and his freezing soldiers came and dropped off on Bardock friends. This is the era right here. Now, I do have a mod on Kakarot where I could walk around the training mode and kind of give y'all a vision of what it would look like a little bit. Now, listen, bro. We are talking about Bandai Namco here. So, I feel like Bandai Namco is going to reuse this right here. This is the training mode. but I could just walk around the training mode. I feel like they're going to reuse the training mode and just add stuff to it. Because I'm not going to lie, this kind of look like the area already. All you got to do is make the sky pink. Add a couple of little buildings, add some people walking around, destroy stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they can recreate the scene right here. They can use this twice. They can use it at that scene, and they can use it again when Bardock goes Super Saiyan, because I believe Bardock is going Super Saiyan in this DLC. I am not paying $20 for no new transformation. I'm so sorry, Bardock. So I actually believe that he's going Super Saiyan in this DLC. But I feel like that they could reuse this scene again when Bardock fought Lord Chill. And all they got to do is just turn the sky to pink to purple and just reuse the same thing, reuse the same scenery, my God, but the same area. But yeah, I have a modern cacker where I can walk around and kind of show y'all what it looks like. It is a pretty big map. You go crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty big. I just keep going the wrong way. But you can go crazy, my guy. Go anywhere you want, fly anywhere you want. And this is the first map that I have on the list right now. Now, the next one we got on our list is Frieza Spaceship. Now, I feel like this map will be very easy to make, man. Xenoverse 2 done did it, and Breakers done did it. You know what I'm saying? They got both of them where you can free roam and free your spaceship. I think Xenoverse 2 did it the best. When you walk around, nothing too big, nothing too crazy. It'll be fire they made it big inside, but uh, nothing too big, nothing too crazy, man. You just got to walk around. Might do a couple of missions, side quests here and there, man. You already know it's Kakar. Right? You know, they're going to add their little side quests to this stuff. But yeah, man, I feel like Freezer Space will be a perfect little thing in the game. You can walk into it, it'll be fire, walk around, see all the low class warriors walking around and stuff like that. But I feel like Freezer Space will be a perfect spot for number two in the DLC. They're going to have to do stuff like this. There's no like if, ands, or buts. Like if you want to recreate Bardock's story, you're going to have to make this come true. You know what I'm saying? So. Freeze the spaceship is most likely going to be in there, man. They, are, they got it flowing around everywhere in Kakarot. You see it all the time. So, yeah. Now, number three on my list is Planet Vegeta. This is a big one right here, man. I feel like they're going to have to go crazy on Planet Vegeta, man. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to show what Planet Vegeta really looks like because there's been no video game out there that really explored Planet Vegeta like Kakarot would do it. You know what I'm saying, bro? They do a good job with the free roam, walking around, bro. Imagine seeing all the little low-class warriors walking around. Talking to the Freezer soldiers. You know, I feel like this is going to be the big, big map right here. It's Planet Vegeta. You can sit on uh, Freezer Spaceship on this map. You could fit all the other ones. They might transport you somewhere else. Sand pods and all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying, bro? But yes, man, Planet Vegeta is number three on this map. I feel like this would be a perfect opportunity to put it in the game. You're going to kind of have to. It's Bardock's story. You got to have Planet Vegeta. Where are they going to walk at? The moon? Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? So Planet Vegeta is definitely number three on my list. Now, number four. We have outer space, my guy. Now, I feel like outer space is a perfect way to go ahead and end it off, man. They're going to have to put that in there, my guy. That's the most famous cutscene for Bardock is outer space. When he dropped off all the freezer soldiers, he finally got the freezer and got dropped off. You know what I'm saying, bro? So, I feel like outer space is the last one we could get, my guy, for this on this map or for these areas, for these four areas, man. It's outer space, man. They already got horse battle mode. All you got to do is put horse battle mode, outer space. You find all the freezer soldiers and get the freezer and everything. You get what I'm saying? But... Yes, bro. These are the four main maps we should be seeing in DLC 4. It's, they have to put these in there, but you can't have Bardock without those four maps. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So let me know in the comment section below what you think, man. Did I miss a map? Let me know if I missed something or if I said something crazy. My God, please let me know in the comment section below, man. I really do appreciate y'all. But we are on the road for the big 50K. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, man. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And um, um. Uh, um
President Rose.